Inflow Network, Influencers of the World, is a platform that actively brings together partner brands, leading bloggers, digital influencers, social media creators, and of course, digital trendsetters from all over the world. Today, we're joined by co-founder of Inflow Network, Afsin, who joins us all the way from Turkey, as well as industrial engineer and digital influencer, Antonio, who joins us from Spain. Gentlemen, welcome to The Loft. Now, Afsin, I would like you just please talk to us about what Inflow Network is and how does it help influencers from around the world to grow their digital and individual brands? Sure, sure. Uh, with pleasure. So um, maybe you might remember in 2015 and 16, uh, we saw a tremendous growth in influencer marketing and um, we started to see influencers uh, from everywhere in almost uh, each country. And at that time, as a businessman in this field, in digital marketing field, we also realized uh, that lots of entrepreneurs back in that day are uh, trying to establish their influencer agencies. Uh, and at the same time, brands were uh, trying to get into this field. However, none of these parties uh, really knew what they should do about influencer marketing or how they should apply it, how they should utilize it. So Inflow Network, we saw this need and we decided to create this platform in order to help influencers, brands and agencies in order to increase the value in the influencer collaborations and also make this business uh, as a long-term business, especially for influencers because um, it might be uh, uh, not an easy process to be an influencer, we accept that, but keeping that level is tougher than that. Mm. That's the toughest part. And that's why we wanted to build the Inflow Network in, all, in order to help uh, all these parties, but especially uh, for influencers themselves. Now, someone who knows all this too well is Antonio. Now, Antonio, you are an industrial engineer by trade, which is totally different from the world of influencer and, of course, the digital world. So please may you tell me about how you got started in the industry, grew your followers to close to one million, and how you started working with Inflow Network. Well, so, as you well say, you know, uh, I was in a totally different uh, industry. I, I was working in a combined cycle power plant, um imagine uh, for me this was something totally new and the thing is that at that time um you know my passion was basically you know doing sports fitness soccer my, my life in general was always related to to sports and i remember that at that time i'm talking about uh, six years and a half ago uh, a lot of people you know were saying to me when i was you know at the, uh, the gym everything hey antonio have you ever tried to do or you know like a modeling or you know through social media but you know at that time uh, it wasn't like now mm -hmm. so at one point you know I, I met somebody you know that, that you can say was my mentor you know like the person who changed a bit my mind mm -hmm. and yeah then I started you know like oh, like okay what can I do so I started through Instagram uh, you know, to to share my content, I just, you know, uh, check at that time, you know, like the fitness models. I I like it, you know, like to see like how it works more or less, you know, like how can I do? So, you know, I started to try to take it a bit more serious to do professional photo shootings. And, you know, I I went to, to London and then once I was there, I met somebody, that person, you know, took me to another and yeah, it started to grow and at the end the hobby it became a job, you know. The pandemic has been tough on everyone and all industries, that's definitely not um, easy to overcome. Now, Afsin, how has it affected the world of influencer marketing and how have influencers then adapted to this change? Well, as, as you well said, uh, it affected everyone and uh, it affected negatively, I mean, most of the world. Uh, but for influencer marketing, it's kind of different because I have to say that uh, during the pandemic, pandemic influencer collaboration, uh, the business between influencers and brands increased uh, like crazy. Yeah. Uh, because brands understood that they need uh, other ways, alternative ways in order to 
reach to their audiences. And influencers are uh, one of the best choices because they're authentic, they create a trust uh, with the relationship uh, between the brands and the audiences. So that's why we see a huge increase uh, in collaborations with influencers. So uh, in the last nine months, uh, I mean, I can also uh, uh, back this uh, data with our polls, some surveys and some one-to-one -one meetings with influencers and brands. In the nine months, uh, the influencer marketing uh, grew uh, a lot. And for the future in 2021, it will keep uh, growing a lot. Wow. Uh, so it is one of the most, uh, let's say, uh, developed uh, industries right now when it comes to marketing. What valuable tips and advice can you share for aspiring influencers and for those who already have established and wanting to grow their brand and platforms? Um, it's the idea. Uh, that's one I can emphasize on. Uh, because uh, all the people brands, agencies, and all audiences, we are expecting influencers to say something new. Uh, and it is idea, basically. Uh, we need to see more creative ideas, innovative ideas um, from influencers. So what I can suggest to all influencers or to one who wants to be influencer, uh, I definitely suggest them to work on creating new ideas, innovative ideas that can attract audiences, that can uh, increase the interest uh, on their content. Because at the end of the day, uh, that's what we are after as audiences. We are after good ideas, creative ideas and good content. Thank you so much both gentlemen from Afsin and of course Antonio joining us all the way from Turkey and Spain respectively.